Hi, so for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create ice texture and icicle hanging off the ice. You can choose any shape or any object you like. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use the letter IC as an example. We're first going to double click on the layer to bring up the layer style and check the bevel and boss button and to give it some depth. Play around with the shading, the size, uh, soften and depth um, to get the approximate size you want. If you're not sure, just uh, make sure it has some depth and you can always come back and change it later. Then we're going to apply satin. Satin will give the, the um, object a backlighting effect, a translucent um, feel to it. So again, play around with the setting. Um, make sure you have enough variation in the shadow and light. And if you didn't give your object a color earlier, you can always check color overlay and give it a color now. Then on satin, on the color, choose a darker color of your color overlay. And to exaggerate that backlight translucent effect, um, click on inner glow for the color you do not have to choose it to match the the color um, the rest of the color and then so once you're done just go back to all the setting and play around with it again so again make sure the effect the texture is not smooth make sure there's enough variation between the dark and the light that will help you later when you create the chroma effect Then now we're going to have to rasterize uh, th this layer because so that we can work on it some more. Um, first, duplicate it, and then create a blank layer. Now, select both the duplicate layer and the blank layer and merge them both. And now you'll see it's a rasterized layer. Um, so we're going to double click on it again and apply gradient effect. Give it a nice reflective color, just like I did with um, my example, and use overlay as blending mode. The reason why we're doing this again is if you look at the gradient overlay, it's located at the very bottom. That means it will be rendered after the satin, the bevel, the inner glow, and the color overlay. So you're not going to be, be able to see the gradient overlay since it's located at the very bottom and I don't think there's any way you can drag that up and make it a priority so we have to apply the effects separately so now we're going to rasterize this layer again by doing the same thing create a blank layer select them both and merge it again then next we're going to apply the chrome effect by going to filter and filter gallery go down to sketch and chrome give it some smooth and detail uh, as much as you like if earlier you did not give it enough shadow and highlight variation you're not gonna get all these nice uh, reflective chrome look so if that was the case you're gonna have to go back to the original file, uh, original layer, and redo the whole thing again to make sure you have enough um, shadow and highlight. So now that we have the chrome effect, let's change the color blend thing mode to overlay, and now you'll see the whatever is on the bottom plus the chrome effect. And if you like, if you're not happy with the effect of the chrome overlay on top of your color, your original um, object, you can use the curve and change it around to get it to a, something that you think would look better. So drag the curves around and click OK when you're satisfied with the effect. Now we're going to duplicate both layer and merge it again. And then flip it over. 
to create a reflection on the on the floor and then we're gonna click on the mask it's located at the bottom of the layer palette so now we're gonna apply the gradient effect give it a nice black to white gradient on the mask and you'll see the, the result reflected on the, the final layer appearance and then turn the opacity down to about 50 so next we're going to create the icicle turn off everything except the ice itself now we're going to create the icicles go to select a color range select the widest area of your object and then click OK create a new layer and then fill it with pure white then we're gonna use the free transform tool using control T turn it counterclockwise to a 90 degree angle then go to filter stylize wind use the method blast and direction from the left and you'll get this um, wind effect and let's rotate it back to the original position turn everything back on and align the icicle use a median filter to make it a little um, rounder and there you have an uh, icicle hanging off your ice and you can choose to give it some reflection that on the icicle by using the same method we did with uh, the rest of the object and that's the end of the tutorials if you have any question or concern please go to my website at sanwang.com for and also there is a written direction instruction on my website for the same tutorial as well thank you